Hi guys, today we're in the kitchen. We're gonna do a video tutorial on how to dry or dehydrate bananas. Uh, you can do this with other fruits like apples, strawberries, uh, grapes. Uh, you can do it with meats and make jerkies. You can do it with a whole assorted uh, amount of foods. Uh, but today we're doing bananas and we're going to show you how to do the process for bananas. So if you like bananas, you're in good shape. If not, like I said, you can do the same process with other, other fruits. Uh, but today we've got, you will need bananas. Bananas are the key. You'll need a good sharp knife. Remember that when you're using knives, sharp knives tend not to cut you. Uh, and the reason that is is because a sharp knife will cut into what it's doing and you don't have to use any uh, extra force or awkward motions. So sharp is the key on your, on your knives. Make sure that it's good and sharp and ready to go. And then you also need a cutting board. I like green can't tell. Green's my favorite color. Uh, so we've got a green cutting board today. So I'm going to do um, some cutting here and then we'll get them all up in the dehydrator. Uh, I've got a Mr. Coffee dehydrator. There's tons of brands out there that you can use. Uh, they all work about the same. Basically what it is, it's low heat, 125 to 135 degrees for several hours to dry your, your product out and um, that's what they do. So you can also do it in the oven too if you don't have a dehydrator or you don't want to get a dehydrator. Uh, there's ways to do that. You basically you put it on a cookie sheet, stick it in there and let it go. Uh, again at low temperatures. What you're going to have to do though with most ovens is they start out about 150 to 175 I believe is the lowest setting. So what you're going to have to do is just crack your door open and that way it'll let some of the heat escape and you're not baking your your um, foods. All right guys, so now we've got our bananas all cut up into, into pieces ready to go in our dehydrator. Uh, what you want to do is is when you're cutting them you want to try and keep them as, as uh, this symmetrical the same size as possible um, because that way they'll all dry out at the same amount of time. Uh, we're going to load up our trays and we'll turn it on and like I said before it's uh, there, this one doesn't have a setting but it's between 125 and 135 and then the banana chips will go between 6 to 12 hours just depending on um, you know the the ambient temperature the ambient moisture um, they could take you know the moisture content in the bananas themselves uh, so anyway uh, 6 to 12 hours is what it's going to take We'll get them loaded up. That's it for right now. We'll see you in six to 12 hours when we take these uh, banana chips out and give them a try. Uh, so far, I did not mention that some recipes call for using lemon juice to, to uh, drench them in. Um, I've never done that. I think all it's for is to really keep them from turning that brown oxidized color because uh, typically that's what you use lemon for. Uh, I don't think it's necessary, I don't think it adds anything or takes anything away from the flavor by not using it, so I just don't. I tasted one or two earlier and they taste really good too. 
So I'm gonna call that done. All right, well, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Share us with your friends. And with that, we're calling it a night. So look for other uh, videos here on how to do dehydration or uh, make some beer or fly RC aircraft, drones. Um, yep. Share us with your friends, hit that subscribe button, like us, add us, add a comment. We'll answer those comments. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you soon.